What's up, everybody? Super Rhino 57 here with another episode of Sky Factory. So, if you watched my episode of Crazy Craft, then I realized I am way too bad at planning, I guess, is the only way to say it. And so, it was, it was really disorganized, and I feel really bad. Because, yeah, a lot of stuff happened, a lot of delays, a lot of jumps. Well, actually, there was only one jump. But, anyways, that's what this chest is here. I have pre-planned this episode. I have set up all the material I need right here in this one chest. Because I don't like feeling disorganized. Everything I have is organized in a chaotic way, but it's still organized. And so, anyways, today's episode of Sky Factory. We are going to be doing a lot, a lot of work. I didn't build anything because I wanted to save all the material, all the recipes, everything in here. For the, video, for the video, for the camera, for the people. Love you all. So, as you can see, or maybe you may, may or may not, I have my sieve in here, I have some crucibles. I'm going to be doing some work on one achievement plus some uh, automation. I was just looking that up. That has nothing to do with today's episode. Do not get your hopes up. Uh, but today, I am going to make in... First of all, I need some nodes liquid this is why the ender pearl comes in because one ender pearl replacing a block of redstone makes four nodes compared to one don't know why that didn't work let's do this manually okay ba 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 oh didn't mean to click that okay let's see here Ooh, that's not what I was wanting. You know, I'll I'll wait to build that because I have a bucket of lava and I kind of need that for purposes. Anyways, moving on. Let's see here. I need the bucket of water. So the achievement we are going to be working on is building a base on a second layer below this current layer. So the way I usually do this is I make a water path. And let's use cobblestone. Oops, didn't mean to do that. And I like several rows. And there we go. Give me plenty of height. And once we get further on, I will explain why I prefer several rows. But let's see here. Where did I do with them? I know I built some torches. There we go. They were already in my action bar. There we go. And some slabs, which were in the chest. There we go. So, we are making a platform secondary level. I use water because that way, if you fall, you know, all that good stuff. It's the easiest way, and I think it's actually really the only way to do it. So, there's a little tip for you if you decide to do Sky Factory. Use water. And I will block that off. I do not like the water flow. And once I get this platform built, I will build a uh, ladder system getting me up there so I don't have to worry about water. Because that's just, that's ugly. It just really is. I prefer ladders or something. Once I get flying, I get rid of the ladders. For those of you who don't know about Sky Factory, eventually you will learn to fly. So, yeah. Nice little feature later on. And just like the top layer, I do slabs, bottom half. No mob spawning, no muss, no fuss. There we go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Building, building, building. Although if it gets too dark, I do put a, you know, put a torch. Which later will make it look be beautiful. Beautimous. Eh. I put that there, so might as well. What the? I have no clue why or what just happened, but I placed that torch, and my game crashed. So that was weird. You are a cursed torch. But anyways, back to what I was doing. Um, where? Oh, I was like, where? Wait a minute. That's weird. Look. Okay. 
Sorry, my video display is a little weird. My game was scooted down. I had to move it back up. All I saw was this one wo oak wood slab. And I was looking right here. I was like, there's 64 cobblestone slabs. Why is it only showing one oak? It's because it was scooted down. Because I had to move my frame. Because I don't do, I don't do uh, full screen Minecraft. I don't like full screen. I like being able to uh, minimize it and open up a uh, internet browser. You know, in case I have to do research or something like Ooh, let me look this up real quick. So, yeah. Okay. So, there is a reason I am doing cobblestone instead of oak wood. Mostly because, well, I mean, cobblestone's an unlimited resource now, and oak wood's a limited because I turned off my tree farm. Because it was getting really annoying. I'm sitting there trying to progress, trying to, you know, get further in my island. And I had to keep cutting trees down because I was afraid of spawning. I was afraid of monsters spawning. Oh. So, yeah. Because if you don't tend to your trees, then there's a chance a monster will spawn on top of the trees. In which case, either A, knock you off, or B, kill you. Bow and arrow, sword, whatever. Okay, actually, yeah, that reminds me, I kind of need to build a crafting table down here. And I like this slab because it fits in with everything else. So we'll do that, and I'll do it over here because it looks better. There we go. Don't worry, I'm done building the platform, or at least I think. So, main reason I like the underground or the below the top layer is because what I'm about to build, it doesn't look very pretty, but it's effective. It's just, yeah, like I said, it doesn't look pretty, so I don't like it having it on the top layer. So there we go. I need a bucket of lava and wood burns. Stone does not. That's why I wanted stone. That's why I wanted cobblestone. I don't know what that sound was. So we will. Now we've got that. Do, 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 do. Crucibles. Wait, six. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, I should have enough. Three, four, five, six. Perfection. So now we've got that. I'm going to swim back up. Do, 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 do. And come over here. Oh, I just realized I'm pretty sure my platform is really low. Also, I'm pretty sure I don't have enough pipes, so I'm getting extra. Take two. Then one, two, three, four. One, two. Go with you here. There we go. That should be enough. Let's hope. Oh, it's night time. Monsters aren't gonna spawn because I do use the half slab rule, but still, it's annoying working in the dark. Oh, wrong way. Let's go over here to this water puddle. Oof. There we go. So if you notice, each one says melting speed to an. Wait, what? Ew. There we go. Oh, did it really just destroy that half slab? Oh no, it didn't. That's weird. There we 
There we go. So now there's the opening. So I need to build a bridge. Wonderful. Ugh. I'm a perfectionist. I like things looking pretty. Especially since I started doing YouTube, which I know has only been a little while, but still. There we go. We'll do that. And blah. And there we go. That should be connected. Oh, and I'm pretty sure I just lost that pipe. Yep, it's connected. Okay, good. So if you're using the crucibles and you're trying to do automation, remember one thing, the stone must go in the top, can't go in the sides, any of that stuff. So remember that. There we go. up. Yes, good enough. Make sure I don't jump off. Oh. There we go. Oops. Not just one, but two extra. There we go. I wonder if it would be easier if I did it this way. There we go. Jump up here. Try it this way. I know I'm floating over the void. if it works. <gasps> there it is. You see the solid cobblestone? Yeah. Means my automatic cobblestone farm up there is now depositing cobblestone down here. Awesome. Wonderbar. Now we need to go over here to this crafting table and we are going to make a liquid transfer node. Boom. Because these crucibles are transferring fluid lava. So, bum, 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 bum. And, here we go. Now, for the main purpose of this episode, we are going to be making, oops, click off screen. We are going to be making a generator because we need power. And the most, for me, the one I always use, I don't transfer, I don't start off with one, switch to another. No, I start off with the lava generator and I stick with it. Because once you get lava, why not make a lava generator? So now we have a lava generator. We're going to put that right here. Oof. Oops. There we go. Didn't mean to make this little connection. That means lava is being poured in here and it is making power. Awesome. Now, the reason we need power, the reason we need the generator is because I'm going to automate my sieving. So we need an autonomous activator. There it is. 
To make an autonomous activator, we need a redstone reception coil, which is one gold, two redstone. Hold shift and left click. Or, I thought it was shift and left click. Oh. Let me go back to the redstone. Shift. Oh, I'm holding control, that's why. Shift and left click, and boom. It puts everything in there. Redstone reception coil. The piston. Iron, redstone, wood, and stone. Cobblestone. Already had, already had everything set aside. And then, 10 gear. Oh, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, she wanted some something that she's not supposed to have electronic wise. Uh, Mommy's Kindle. Anyways, back to go back to the uh, autonomous activator. We got the tin ingot, which requires four tin and one iron. Like I said, had everything set aside. It needs two tin gears. And boom, there we go. We have an autonomous activator. For those of you who don't know, the autonomous activator it acts like a mouse. As in, it can simulate a right click or a left click of items. So there we have, and now it's building up power from the generator, which, oh wow, I didn't realize it was full. There we go. So, lava generator, getting lava from the cobblestone uh, crucibles, turning cobblestone into lava. Lava increasing the rate to 2.0. And now the generator is giving power to the autonomous activator, which is simulating, uh, I believe I need left click. Oh, ouch. I forgot that left click also is attack. So we'll do, well actually real quick, let me give you, get some uh, gravel, and I will show you what this thing does. There we go. So it might be right click, I'm not sure. Anyways, gravel. Five gravel. And right click. Look at that. Um This is weird. Um It's not going anywhere. It still says 100% left. Um, be right back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. And I've already tried recording this cl this part before, but it kind of failed miserably. So I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I did get this figured out. My autonomous activator, my sieve. Um, if you see, the sieve is from Ex Nihilo at the, bo at the bottom of that little tooltip at the top. And in the configuration file, oops, I've got it going. In the configuration file, you have to go in and set uh, autom automate sieve capable. And otherwise, you can't use the autonomous activator or any of that, which it is supposed to have been like that. Uh, last time I played Scott Factory, it was like that. But for some reason, I had to go manually change that. But anyways, as you can see, I've been gathering some resources. I uh, had it going. And also, I went ahead, and let me show you guys this. Um... I'm pumping the lava up here to the generator. The generator's powering that. I got rid of the water, added a ladder. Ooh. And all my crucibles are down here. Made this look nice and pretty. Or evened it out. Uh, climb back up. And I kind of made this a little safer so I was less likely to fall. But, anyways, over here, I made a stone barrel, which it's really easy to make. There it is. With six stone and a stone slab. You need stone barrel because you're going to put lava in it. And then I just surrounded the block right above the barrel with these little half slabs and I put water on top of the barrel. Reason being, with this bucket of lava, if I right click on the barrel, oh, it's filled with water. Oh, it rained, that's why. Uh, hold on one second. It rained and so it filled up. But now, it, that water source above it is going to fall as soon as I break this. Okay. There we go. So I will place that back. Now, if I right click the barrel with the bucket of lava, it gives me an obsidian. And that is 
what I used to make, what you just saw a second ago, is called a vacuum hopper. There it is. Uses a regular hopper, which is just five iron and a chest, and then a piece of obsidian, which you saw how I just got, and then an ender pearl, which I got from killing Enderman in my little mob farm over there, and blaze powder, which I got from sieving. So really easy and what it does is I got it above my sieve if I stand back whenever it sieves the dust and everything all the drops go into the vacuum hopper and if I right click the hopper there's an item output and you see I have it set to the right which goes into this double chest so everything is automatically going in here so a nice little automation for you also one last thing well actually I think there's two more things uh, first of all I was running out of food so I set these up they're called drying racks and all you need is three uh, wooden slabs and just put them in the same pattern to get as you would to get slabs out of uh, planks and you get a drying rack and then what you can do which I don't have any right now is take zombie flesh and right click the drying rack and boom it will give you monster jerky which is a very good source of food especially this early on in the game before we get farms and everything going so that is my food source for now and last but not least one last thing I wanted to do before I turn the camera off is my, from my mob farm I've been getting these loot bags and let me organize it let's see we got some epics I want to open one epic and a common treasure and see what I can get because this is a way to get some later on resources very early in the game and so this is going to be this could be really awesome could be really lame I want to do the common treasure first and right click it gave me a potion of water breathing six gold coins not sure what that's for a potion of healing splash potion of poison okay that one was fairly lame and let's see what the epic loot bag gives me a thomium hoe that's pretty good. Empty map, not very beneficial. And a head. Okay. Um, I guess I'll do a head display later on, but nothing really, really beneficial right now. I could have just made a stone or an iron hoe, so I'll just throw that in here and maybe the head too. But, so, yeah, I'm going to open probably two or three on uh, each video. But I just want to show you all the progress of things I've done real quick before I turn the camera off and explain to you how I fixed my automated sieve. Because the previous video I did was just, it was, it was terrible. And, I mean, most of my videos are pretty bad, especially where I'm new to this. But it was really bad. I, I felt bad for myself and for anyone watching it. Just for that last clip, because my clips are usually pretty spaced out because I stop and get distracted and all this other stuff. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it was beneficial. If you did, hit that like button down below. Uh, leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. I, I got a few subscribers, but if you're new, hit that button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye now.